Okay, hi guys. So let's look at the next question here. Now this question says that uh, here Ravi marks up uh, uh, an article by P percent. Okay, P is positive, and then gives a discount of P by four percent, and it still gets a profit of P by four percent. If he marks up the article by P by two percent and gives a discount of P by six percent, then find his profit percentage. Okay. So in this kind of question, again, it's a variety of questions. You will see a lot of such questions in any book, right? Or any material. So basically, the people get stuck in equations. That's the basic problem with this kind of question. They stuck in equations because there are lots of lots of variables given here. Okay. So we need to find a good way to solve this kind of problem, right? So let's try to find a good way to solve such kind of problems, right? Now understand this, guys. So basically, the concept behind uh, solving such uh, such uh, such uh, questions are actually okay. Now. This is this fund is always about successive change, right? For example, if I say that the uh, the cost price of an article is rupees hundred, the markup is let's say twenty percent, so that means the mark price becomes rupees one twenty, and let's say discount is ten percent. So discount once once get ten percent on mark price, so selling price becomes one zero eight. Correct. So that's more of a this is always successive change, right? What is successive change actually? If you know. So successive change is basically if on if on one if I increase by first I increase by a percent then again I increase by b percent then obviously the a percent increase with anything on one if I increase the value by a percent the value will become one plus a by hundred obviously correct similarly. Against a uh, successive change of b percent, right? So on this value, if I increase by b percent, it becomes one plus a by hundred into one plus b by hundred. Correct. So after solving it, we'll get one plus a plus b plus a b by hundred. So what we call here that the starting value was one. So let's just one and one gets nullified each other, right? So what is the increase? So a plus b plus a b by hundred is increase, right? That is successive change here. Okay, the so same thing if you if you see here, guys, in here what whatever is what has happened here, successive successive change means continuous change. So first a change of twenty percent has happened here. That means a is equal to plus twenty. Twenty increases there, and second the in place of b there is a negative right now it's ten ten percent discount. It's negative so b is equal to minus ten percent. Correct. So now, if I solve this, guys, so I'll get by this formula, I'll get twenty. Now, at place of b, I'll put minus ten here. So twenty minus ten. Now again plus twenty into minus ten by hundred, right? If you see what 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 will get here, so twenty minus ten is ten, and ten minus two is eight. You'll get eight by hundred. That is eight percent is right. So you'll get actually not eight by hundred. So you'll get here eight percent is okay. So eight percent is you are getting here. So Here also you got eight percent, right? You got eight only, no? Hundred twenty increase and ten in decrease. You got eight percent here. Okay, these two things are same here, right? So that's the way by that's the way we can look uh, this thing by a continuous change of markup percentage. So a continuous change of markup percentage as well as a discount. This is a continuous change, successive change, right? All it will work. Okay, the so same thing I'll apply in this question also. Okay, in this question if I see here. So first of all, it is markup by what? So markup by p percent, and then discount of p by four percent. So I can say that, and this eight percent is my overall. So CP was hundred, and SP was one zero eight. So this this eight percent is my overall profit, right? Okay. So what I can see here is in this case, A is the value. A value is p percent. B value is p by four percent. And my overall value, which was like eight here, it is p by four. So I can apply successive change of p and minus the discount, right? So put b equal to minus p by four. Okay. So successive change of p and uh, a is equal to p percent and b equal to minus p by four, right? Remove percentage here. Okay. So a equal to p and b equal to minus four. What is successive change, guys? It is actually p. Uh, look at this part here. A plus B plus A B by hundred. Okay, so now A is P, so P plus. Okay, P 
plus uh, now b is minus p by 4 right this is minus p by 4 so a plus b plus a b by 100 plus p into minus p by 4 into 100 okay plus a b by 100 so minus p by 4 into 100 correct so let me write here let me write here only 100 now is equal to what is equal to what is equal to overall profit percentage that is 8 percent right so this is 8 percent what is profit percentage here p by 4 so i can equate to p by 4 here can you get so now I'll, I'll be getting what p minus p by 4 uh, minus p square by 400 is equal to p by 4 okay so you can just put this uh, concept in mind guys okay very important thing actually we have discussed okay what is what we discussed here the successive change of successive change of markup percentage so markup percentage huh, and uh, discount successive change of markup percentage and discount will result in profit percentage okay or it could be even loss also if, if the discount is more right it could be loss also okay that's fine perfectly fine okay so now let's solve it actually okay this will whatever what we'll get here so p minus p minus 4 i think this will be p by 2 actually is equal to p square by 400 obviously p is not 0 because it is greater than 0 so i can just cancel out p here so that will become p is equal to 200 so i got p is equal to 200 what is p here that marks of the article by p percentage 200 right so if i if i make a, 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 a data here for example I, I i assume cp as 100 right let's assume cp as 100 so mark price will be p percent above that is 200 percent above then what is mark price 300 okay and then discount of p by 4 percent right so discount of p by 4 that will discount is of 50 percent right 200 by 4 is 50 percent so discount is of 50 percent what is selling price guys so 300 50 percent discount that selling price becomes 150 okay now he says that if he marks up the article by p by 2 percent so now instead the cost price is 100 only now he marks up the article by p by 2 percent so p is 200 so p by 2 is 100 if he marks up the article by 100 percent so in that case the mark price will become 200 correct and he gives a discount of p by 6 percent what is p by 6 here so 200 by 6 that is equal to uh, 33.33 percent okay so he gives a discount of 33.33 percent right that is exactly one third okay so on 200 if you decrease the value by uh, one third it will decrease by minus 66.66 and the value becomes roughly 133.33 okay so that means so this was selling price and this is the now uh, so this is the this was the cost price and now this is the selling price right so it's selling at 133.33 and cost price of 100 what is my answer guys so my answer is what my answer is 33.33 percent that's the answer of my question okay so that's how it goes right so basically a good funda to uh, reduce variables in such question you always remember the successive change of markup percentage and discount percent will result in profit or loss percentage right it could be loss also right because the value would be more here uh, instead of 10 if it was 30 here it was it was a case of loss right okay chill okay and also also this combat guys okay so this uh, combat uh, you know it's a very good test series it contains some good high quality questions okay so their easy questions are, are not asked here so it basically it contains only good uh, medium and high quality questions with some uh, very advanced concepts okay and uh, uh, this from this Sunday onwards it is in basically revised format so basically we are mo moving closer to cat right now so in January February and March we were like away uh, we are around eight to ten months away from cat so the questions we put off maybe some uh, easier or medium level right but this from down onwards the questions will be of higher higher level okay and uh, all the LRDA sets also um this quant questions also and basically it's a fun it's fun right actually giving this is a fun because after every question you get to get to get, get your live ranking okay then uh, after every question 
the faster you answer the better your the better your rank is right you get more points so actually the, those one hour test is a fun and actually if you look at the cat you should give a uh, multiple uh, sectional tests and test before cat okay and this one of your high quality tests absolutely free of cost and uh, now from uh, earlier it was not that rewarding but now they have introduced some uh, great rewards in this i think okay so rank 1 to 3 one year subscription i think around 20000 or 75% scholarship or 50% so so great prizes are on offer here okay so get it live from your mobile app you just put the in, uh, link here i'll uh, this uh, invite code you can put here ravi roda it ask you for invite code it is absolutely absolutely free of cost okay ask you for invite code put ravi roda and the link i'll put in description just enroll from there okay and do give this every sunday do give this at 12 pm it's on every sunday okay so every sunday give this on 12 pm thank you